Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. It's a lazy Sunday. Uh, round one of the arena is over. The featured was Masaki, and the basic was Red Goblin. And we're going to take a look at the leaderboards and see if we recognize any names, if anyone that we know went for either of these champions. I know BG uh, realized really late that he didn't have the uh, four-star Red Goblin, so he may have put up enough to get on the leaderboards or just enough to actually pick up the champion. So we'll take a look and we will see. As you can see here, I have not done anything in the Sunday arena, nor do I plan to. Uh, I have stopped doing this arena. Uh, it's better for me to uh, take that time off from the arena like I used to do until they made it uh, so attractive, but I'm going to skip it now. 1,000 five-star shards is not really that big of a deal for me, and there are not that many five-stars that uh, I still want. All right, let's go over here, and there we go. Um, I always go for the 5,000 shards, um, and the reason for that is not just because of the 5,000 shards. You got 300 six-star shards, and there are objectives like hero use and arena wins and things like that that make it better to uh, grind for this. Uh, right now, there's nothing that really makes me want to get into the Sunday arena, but sometimes there might be. Like if the T4 basic hits, I might end up uh, doing that one, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, four star basic, no surprises here. And of course, the three star, you got the four star featured here. Um, just went for milestones to get those units. Uh, try to replenish my units after I spent uh, 3,000 getting that um, six star. All right. And it was worth it, by the way. Uh, dual class six star. Very worth it. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. All right, let's um, let's start with the four star basic and see if anyone uh, that we know put up enough of a score to see their name here. Now, Red Goblin, honestly, I don't know that much about Red Goblin. I picked him up in the arena as a five star, mainly because uh, you know, some were saying he was okay, but he wasn't really that good. And he went low. So may as well pick up. If it is a five star in the arena and they go low, then I can't resist. Got to do it. Unless I've just done a huge grind and just don't feel like it. At this point in time, though, kind of hoping, you know, they put, uh, they probably won't uh, human torch. Cause that's really, uh, the only five star that I'm really wanting to get, uh, Namor would be another very nice pickup, very useful. Um, but human torch would help me far more than, um, Namor would. All right. So far we haven't seen any names that we recognize. I'm sorry if you, uh, are on these leaderboards and I saw your name and missed it. That happens, especially right now on a Sunday um, where I, my mind is just all over the place today. Very lazy day, uh, laid back, relaxing, playing some uh, Warframe with my sister. And she just surprised me with something uh, for you guys that play Warframe, uh, normally, uh, to get certain Warframes, uh, you not it takes time, okay? You have to buy the main blueprint, and then you have to locate the parts, farm the parts, trade for the parts. Then you have to make the parts. Then you have to make the whole Warframe. This can take a week, literally, real time. Now, you can put a rush on it, but that's, of course, going to cost a little money. And we've been working to get this 
one Warframe. And uh, it was basically the Monkey King styled uh, Warframe. And we had all the parts, we made all the parts, but we didn't have the main blueprint. So we couldn't make it. Well, while I was uh, away, taking a nap, uh, my sister went to the trade and she saw someone offering a trade or selling the uh, main blueprint for this. And he wanted a lot more than she had. And she offered him, um, I think he wanted 50 platinum. She offered him 10 platinum. And she said, he laughed and said, you know what? I'm about to quit the game. Go ahead, let's do it. And so she not only was able to pick up the main blueprint, but she made it and put a rush on it with the money that she saved, the platinum, you know, in-game currency that she saved. So when I came out, she was like, Ooh, I got a surprise. And that was the surprise. So after this, I'm going to go and, and level it up. Uh, cause they, they have to be leveled up and it doesn't take too long. We found a great spot to level up. So, um, we should have it maxed out today. All right. Now the basic arena was percentage based. So we saw the top 200, but many, many, many more got that champion, uh, thousands more. We didn't see, uh, BG or at least I didn't see his name, but that doesn't mean he didn't get it. Um, he has the roster to easily put up uh, what's needed uh, to pick up this champion. So I don't know. Maybe he changed his mind and said, never mind. Uh, but anyway, this is the four star featured Masaki. And I'm pretty sure he went low. Uh, Gray Wolf, congratulations, my friend. Uh, he's gotten a rework recently. He's much better than he was, but still not the champion that a lot of people are going to desire or make a lot of use of. So 800 people get this guy. Now we're going to see the top 200. So if you are one of those that got the champion, um, but you are not on these leaderboards, leave a comment and uh, let me know. It helps others who are planning on going for him round two. So if they see what you put up and um, they have a better idea of what the cutoff was. All right. Also, I can give you a, a you know, congratulatory uh, response, which I can't do right here. I wonder if they're ever going to change that instead of the top 200 show more. That'd be interesting. All right, so i um, trying to go a little bit quickly here uh, since we... Uh, Rim in the Rock, congratulations, man. You don't want to take too long. Let me see. Yeah, okay. We're doing okay time-wise, so let's try to finish this up quickly here. All right, there we go. So that's the top 200. Uh, 600 more people got the champion that we don't see. Definitely leave a comment. Let me know. All right. And you saw the scores that I was putting up, just milestones. This one here, I knew he was going to go low, so I put up 22.5. That seems to be the sweet spot. Uh, between 22 and 23 million, uh, to my knowledge, has not missed the 5,000 five-star shards. So if that's what you're looking to get, that's the score I would recommend you put up. All right, now let's see if we recognize any names. Now, uh, Masakri is not a new champion. So quite a few people more than likely already have him. I already have him and he's awakened. If I didn't, then you better be sure I would have uh, picked him up in this arena. 
because I still like picking up uh, new champions. But really, right now, the only one that's going to get me excited is Human Torch. But I already know if Human Torch Arena comes around, he's going to go for a, a good amount, even though many people already have him. When he was first in the arenas, uh, people didn't recognize his power. I sure didn't, and a lot of people didn't. Uh, to be fair, uh, the content that was in the game at that time, there was no Abyss, uh, for example. Uh, the content then didn't really showcase his usefulness. But now he's one of the more sought-after champions uh, for fighting against mystics. He is insane against mystics. And I can kind of see Kabam going that route. And the route that I'm talking about is sort of like a rock, paper, scissors type of a route. Uh, Pharaoh, congratulations. Uh, meaning champions will be, you know, pretty decent, but they'll have their specialty. For example, you know, Human Torch, his specialty is mystics. He destroys mystics. Okay. Against anyone else, He's okay. He's still pretty good. But against Mystics, he crushes him. Magneto. He is a great champion after the rework. Uh, but against champions who are metal, hashtag metal, he destroys them. Uh, ben Riley, congratulations. Uh, were you going for Masakri for the first time or a dupe on him? I'm curious. Uh, the Glory of Man, congratulations. Um, but in any case, uh, Masakri is is not the most sought-after champion. And uh, so I'm not surprised if he goes fairly low round one. And round two, for that matter. But for me, it just means I get a nice break from the arena after that Odin grind. All right, we're down at the end, and that is it, guys. So thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, um, this look at the leaderboards. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I know there's a small group of you that really enjoy these videos, especially if you think your name's going to be up here. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss any of you. Uh, but take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment as well. Hitting the like and leaving a comment really helps the videos out. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.